Hey everybody, this is Rodney Watson, Politics205.com, Alabama's voice of reason, and our candidate for the District 3 County Commission race. Listen, uh, I'm going make a, a few short videos this morning. Um, it's, uh, I had a poster that wanted me to explain to her why I say Birmingham is dying, and it's got to be turned around, and I'm just going to show her some stuff, and, and she's correct. And, and uh, I want to apologize to her because when she first started responding to me, she looked over another woman that I'd had an issue with, and I blocked her. And then I figured this other woman had come on there and uh, put a fake name up, and I uh, was trying to put some sunglasses on and, and hide. And I blocked this woman, and uh, anyway. Uh, I was incorrect about that, and uh, she is not this lady that I'm responding to. She doesn't support me as far as I know. But she's asking questions, legitimate questions, that I'm going to try to answer. If you ask me legitimate questions, I'll try not to act like a baby. But if you ask me baby questions, I'm going to respond like a baby. But, uh, I mean, I, I just I just disregard it is what I end up doing. You know, a guy called me a petulant child yesterday on there, and I just come back to him like a petulant child. I mean... I believe that I like the Bible says be all things to all people. So I mean that's what I gave him. But here we go. We fix to start talking about why I say Birmingham is dying. And we're gonna be a little entertaining. Uh, sometimes I'm entertaining. I'm not trying to be, but that's just me. But uh, I live in Pleasant Grove. Tornado hit over here. Why don't you look up this road right here? On the left right here, there was four houses, four nice homes. I used to be the fifth house on the right on this road. Now I'm the first. These houses got blown away. They didn't come back. On the right right here, there was one, two, three. There's eight houses lost right here on this road that did not build back. Eight houses. Huh? I was right on the edge of it. I had to put my roof back on. Look right, right up through here. Right here in front of us, I think there was... I think there's two existing driveways. Let me go to the right right here, let me show you. That's th two. It's one driveway. There's three or three houses on the right right here. They didn't go back. There's about five on my left. So there's eight on my road. There's eight right here at least. There's five down there. That's 16. There's 30 houses within less than, I didn't even get out of my driveway good. They did not build back. Alright, let's see if I can turn around down here, and then we'll go look at the other houses. This, this, when I say Birmingham, I'm talking about Birmingham proper, but I'm also talking about right outside of Birmingham, the communities that fed off of Birmingham, okay? Now these people went somewhere. I mean, these people... Now you have to understand during this Pleasant Grove tornado when it hit, that was in the worst part of the housing crisis. So these people had replacement insurance, and when they got their money for their houses, they were able to go buy a lot more house. I mean, some of them kind of cleaned up that time during that tornado. I mean, they got paid full value of their house, and they was able to buy a house for half or less, 20 cents on the dime, somewhere else, you know. But I just showed you about 30 houses. I'm not making this up. I'm getting into an area where someone built back. Same situation right down through here. There's plenty three houses right there that did not build back. But these people went somewhere. A lot of them went down to McCall. A lot of them went down to Helena. Let's go down this road right here. I mean, it just wiped this road out. They did not build back. Pleasant Grove in this area has went back to a rural community. We probably counted 40 plus houses over there. Let's see right here. This, there's a driveway there that's empty. There's one. This was a lot. Two. Three, four, cross the streets just as many. That's, that'd be eight. Here's our storm shelter that our mayor and council worked on. 
Here's a vacant lot. Some houses built back. But look, look at them vacant lots down there that nobody's built back on. I bet you I'm well over 60 houses that hadn't built back right here. And I, I'm just right over the hill from my house. All right? So we know that the people in Pleasant Grove, look at those lots. These folks went somewhere. But they didn't build back here. All right? But I'm going to cut this off, and we're going to go do another video right over the hill to another little town. And they, I'm, 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 the point I'm driving home is they're building in, in Jefferson County, but they're not getting any real growth. They're not getting a positive growth in population. That's not just me saying it. That's backed up by the census. I've, I've given those reports out from the newspaper. Just understand, I, I don't know how many houses we just went through. These people didn't build back. Birmingham is losing population. Shelby County is growing. I don't care how much work they're doing downtown. And you may be getting people moving in here that's never lived here before. I'm not saying that. But you have more people leaving, or just as many people leaving as you have coming in. On the bigger effect of the economy, that, that has a negative impact. Because it takes all of us working together to keep the services up. Birmingham is not gaining in population. Not a net gain. Thank you.